Welcome to the Statoil Heroes of Tomorrow 2015 competition. This is the second time we are holding this contest that is designed to motivate, inspire and nurture young entrepreneurial talent in this part of the world. Statoil tunafanya shughuli zetu kule Mtwara na kama ambavyo ina inasikika kama ina inafahamika kwamba kutakuwa na uchumi mkubwa sana unakwenda maeneo ya kusini kwa sababu ya ugunduzi wa gesi asilia. Heroes of Tomorrow lilikuja mahususi kwa ajili ya kuwachangamsha vijana kuona fursa ambazo ziko kwenye ujasiri wa mali na kuangalia namna gani wanaweza wakazitumia pia kwa manufaa yao wenyewe. The previous winner, Nasibu Lilumba, has been a great success story and has managed to implement his motorcycle or boda boda business which has grown to include three motorbikes and three employees in the space of just one year. Zile pikipiki zenye kwanza kiangalia gharama yake ni kubwa sana. Uwezi kununua pikipiki mpaka wana milioni mbili. Kwa hiyo nimekuwa na uwezo wa kununua pikipiki tatu kwa wakati mmoja ni kitu ambacho ni ni faida kubwa sana kwa kwa sababu vijana wengi hawezi. Kuna mtu kijana anachukua pikipiki ya mtu after an opening ceremony that comprised of speeches from the Honorable Ambassador of Norway, Ms. Hanna Marie Kostad, and the Honorable Regional Commissioner of Mtwara, Ms. Halima Dendegu, Statoil, unveiled the newly renovated Mtwara Regional Library, which they had been renovating for the previous two months to make it more accessible and increase its resources with a donation of over 900 books. More than 500 budding entrepreneurs picked up competition forms from which the Derecha team worked to find 40 brilliant ideas that could make it into the coveted Statoil Business Proposal Writing Program that takes place at the Stella Maris University in downtown Mtwara. During the week-long course, the young entrepreneurs worked with the Derecha team to polish their business proposal writing skills including how to make financial projections and properly assess their market. Once again, the Derecha team painstakingly went through each proposal to find the top 10 whose ideas and plans had the most potential. Here's a quick look at the top 10 business proposals from this year's competition. Yalangu Kamili ni Castus Corneli Kambona. Idea yangu ni utengenezaji na uzaji wa samani zandani. Kwa jina naitu Aziz Ahmad Idoa, Na idea yangu ya biashara ni Erim Kijanjani. Jina langu ni Nyenje Omar Ichkambo. Idea yangu ni Pico Construction Partners and a General Surprise. Jina langu ni Razaki Ahmad Kaondo. Idea yangu katika Heroes of Tomorrow ni kuanzisha duka la ulembo. Mimi naitwa Yunus Omar Mtopa. Idea yangu ni kuanzisha biashara ya juisi ya miwa. Mimi naitwa Abdalla Selega. Idea yangu ni kuwa na NASA school. Mimi binafsi naitwa Sfaili Stanford in Kiria. Mimi naitwa Edward Edgar Timam. Ya shughuli tunaifanya sisi ni mafundi wa kushona nguo. Naitwa Yahaya Omali Mlindo. Idea yangu ni ufugaji wa kuku wa kienyeji kwa njia ya kisasa. Kwa majina naitwa Said Selemani Mustafa. Idea yangu ya biashara ni uzalishaji na uzaji wa matofali. Ya, jina langu kamili naitwa Saleh Rashid Kisunga na shughuli ninayofanya kwa sasa ni mwanafunzi wa chuo kikuu Mzumbe lakini pia nina kampuni ambayo inafanya shughuli za ICT From this pool of 10 strong business plans a new jury spent time sifting through the proposals further and narrowing them down to 5 actionable plans the top five were then flown to Dar es Salaam, where they met the jury face to face and were put through their paces, answering questions about every aspect of their business idea and proposal. The jury then got to work and the winner was announced at the Grand Hyatt Hotel in Dar es Salaam in April. Our winner is... Yunus. Congratulations to this year's winner, Yunus Mtopa, and the other great success stories. We'll see you next year for another round of Statoil Heroes of Tomorrow.